Hello friends, I am Ajit Agawar and in this class of physics, we will discuss about electric charges. This topic is taken from class 12 physics and is used for all boards. Now come to our topic. First, we will discuss what is electric charge. Uh, this uh, topic is taken from the unit electrostatics. In electrostatic, we discuss about static charges. Okay, like uh, uh, static charges mostly develop uh, in case of insulators. Suppose you have glass rod, and this experiment is already taken in the uh, lower classes. Uh, that if you rub glass rod with silk, if you rub glass rod with silk, then what will happen? In that case, the electron transfer from glass rod to silk. Okay, electron transfer from glass rod to silk, thereby creating positive charge over glass rod and equal negative charge over silk rod. There are such type of charges we discuss in this unit. Then come to a topic electrical charge. It is a physical property of matter that causes it to experience a force when placed in an electromagnetic field. Charge whether may be positive or negative, if you place that charge in some electrical field or magnetic field, it experiences a force by which it will have some attraction or repulsive property. Now, come to this topic, when a body is set to be charged. Just like we have chemistry, that when an atom is set to be charged, when the atom is set to be charged, when the atom is set to be charged, when the atom is set to be charged. Similarly, when a body is set to be charged, any insulating body, if you are provided, then in, when it is set to be charged, so it is known. This, uh, abhi humne example liya glass rod ka. Suppose we have a glass rod like this. A glass rod. Assume that this is glass rod, and here is silk rod. It is silk. In normal state, both have equal number of positive negative charge individually. Okay. तो इसका मतलब है कि उसका पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव चार्ज तो एक दूसरे को कैंसिल कर देगा जब इलेक्ट्रॉन जब पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव चार्ज कैंसिल होता है इसका मतलब न्यूट्रल स्टेट में इसका कोई भी चार्ज नहीं होगा ना ग्लास के पास कोई चार्ज है ना सिल्क का कोई चार्ज दोनों न्यूट्रल है बट इफ यू रब ग्लास रॉड विथ सिल्क देन वॉट हैपन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर्स फ्रॉम ग्लास टू सिल्क एज्यूम दैट फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम ग्लास टू सिल्क ना यू कैन से दैट दे इज अ डिफिशेंसी ऑफ Five electrons over glass rod. Okay, so now glass has attained positive charge due to deficiency of electron, while silk has attained equal amount of negative charge. Understood? So when a body is active charge, आखिर glass will or silk कब ये न कहते हैं charge जो है? So in that case, in the condition when it has lost the electron, while silk has gained the electron. So this is definition. When body has an excess or deficiency of electron, then normal state, then body is said to be charged. Okay. Now types of charges depending on the type of whether body is losing the electron or gaining the electron. Two type of charges are there: positive charge and negative charge. As you can see uh, in the last example, that if glass rod has already uh, lost the electron, then Uh, glass has positive charge. Similarly, if uh, silk cloth uh, gain negative charge, uh, sorry, uh, gain electrons, then it will have negative charge. So, an object become positively charged when, कब ये body positive charge आएगा? When it loses the loosely bound electron to another object. Like in case which was losing in the last example, glass rod was losing the electron, which was gaining the electron. The here another object is silk, so glass will attain positive charge and silk will attain equal negative charge. Okay, uh, like in the last uh, um, statement, other object gain electron and become negatively charged. Understood? Similarly, you can define positive charge too. If a body has a charge which resemble charge on glass rod when rubbed with silk, is called positive charge now properties of charge there are three properties of charge basically in the boards mein bhi question is type se aata hai ki write down two properties of charge or three properties of charge so here are three properties of charge first is 
एडिटिव नेचर ऑफ चार्ज इफ बॉडी हैज अ चार्ज ऑलरेडी सपोज दिस इज ग्लास चॉर्ड एंड हैज अ चार्ज ऑफ प्लस फोर माइक्रोकूल प्लस फोर माइक्रोकूल ओके then uh, you are providing plus 2 micro coulomb charge more then due to this additive property of charge the body has a total of plus 4 plus 2 micro coulomb of charge means plus 6 micro coulomb charge okay Similarly, if you are providing the charge of negative two uh, coulomb, अगर minus two coulomb charge दे दे तब charge कितना होता? Then plus four minus two overall it will be have plus two micro coulomb charge. So this uh, represent additive nature of charge. No matter uh, what uh, um, um, charge is there, positive or negative, you will put with uh, that charge type. okay with a sign by using that sign you can uh, calculate total amount of charge if you are providing positive charge then you will, you will have plus 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 4 plus 2 and if you are providing negative 2 then plus 4 minus 2 so point charges are scalar and can be added algebraically this is the reason that we are adding directly by using the sign of the charge and charges have no direction but can be positive negative 2 next is conservation of charge conservation of charge means ki before and after the operation the total charge will remain same okay uh, suppose uh, uh, in the last example when we have taken a glass rod and other one silk cloth suppose glass has a lost of 5 electron to silk then uh, glass will have positive 5 unit charge while silk have negative 5 okay 5 unit charge overall charge if you add these two because charges are scalar then you can add plus 5 minus 5 overall charge is zero micro coulomb means uh, before and after before uh, rubbing it was the uh, net charge was zero and after rubbing net charge also zero it means it represent conservation of charge so total charge in an isolated system is always conserved when there are many bodies in isolated system the charges get transferred from one body to other but net charge will remain same as here when i have taken example of glass and say that net charge before and after the process was zero during rubbing or natural forces no new charge is created charges are either redistributed or neutron breaks up into proton and electron of equal and opposite charge here is a formation suppose you have a neutron zero and one if it is split up it will form proton positive charge and equal amount of negative charge that is electron so no new charge is created only redistribute on when there is decomposition of neutron and last property was quantization of charge so samajh gaya first two property the additive nature of charge second is charges are conserved and third is charges are quantized quantization of charge means when electron transfer from one body to other suppose this is first body here is second body so electron transferred in complete uh, number either positive or negative okay the charges will be either positive or negative but not in fraction part electron will transferred completely this so electron two electron transfer over three transfer over tab ye tumne suna hoga na ki three by two electron transfer hoga one by two electron transfer hoga mai ma electron ko to half nahi kar sakte hain one fourth So electrons are completely transferred in the integral multiple of the smallest amount of charge that is elementary charge. So its a statement. ये कभी-कभी separately question में आता है कि इन charges are quantized. Explain this statement. तो हम ये लिख सकते हैं. Charges are always represented in form of q equals to n. Here n is an integer and e is the charge. Magnitude of the smallest amount of charge e is one point six zero two one nine two in ten minus nineteen. You can learn only first uh, two significant figures. Up to first two significant figures, one point six into ten minus nineteen coulomb. This is known as quantization of charge, and as I said, of charge is coulomb. In known as e, जो है ये smallest amount of charge इस charge को हम लोग कहते हैं elementary charge. This is known as elementary charge, and this is statement of quantization of charge. 
now we will do numerical problem basis on quantization of charge so what uh, question is given here this is taken from ncrt a polythene piece rubbed with wool is found to have negative charge of 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 coulomb estimate the number of electron transfer from which to which so first of all it was given that there is a negative charge okay there is a negative charge so means electron is transferring from which to which because polythene rubbed when uh, rubbed with wool is found to have negative charge so here polythene piece has taken electron from wool so electrons are transferred from wool to polythene piece in that case polythene will have negative charge understood and how much a negative charge will be there uh, this much is given but question is that how many electron will constitute such type of negative charge over polythene? Yes. Electrons transferred from pool to polythene. So Polythene will attain the negative charge in the negative charge due to the transfer of electron. which is determined by we have to determine karenge by the formula taken from quantization of charge that is q equals to any understood charge is given that is a 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 7 coulomb you have to calculate number of electrons transferred from wool to polythene multiply by E that is elementary charge whose numerical value is 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb. By this you can calculate number of electrons 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 7 divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 and on solving you can get its number of electron, which will come 1.875 into 10 to the power 12. This will be the final answer for part one. And in second part, it is asked that, is there any transfer of mass from wool to polythene? Obviously, if there is electron transfer, hoga, so electron uh, is a type of matter, okay? it's smallest unit of matter. So, uh, matter mein mass to hota hi hai. Haan, wo baat alag hai ki isme bahut hi less mass hota hai. Because mass of an electron is only 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kg. So, if electron transfer from wool to polythene, this much number of electrons. So, iska matlab ye hua ki itne electrons ka mass transfer hoga na. So, can we calculate total mass of all the electrons? Mass of all the electrons transferred already. You can determine by multiplying total number of electrons by the mass of one electron. Total number of electrons are 1.875 into 10 raised to the power 12. And mass of electrons are 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Okay, now by solving it, you can calculate the total mass of electron transfer from wool to polythene. And this uh, is the total solution of this question. In this question, what is given? 
if the electrons are being transferred to body from some other body at a rate of 10 raised to the power 9 per second, means one second mein itne electron transfer ho rahe, 10 per 9. How much time it will take to acquire one coulomb of negative charge? So jab ek body par itne electron per second aa rahe hain, to one coulomb charge aane mein kul kitna time lagega? First of all, you will calculate the total charge of 10 raised to the power 9 electron by using the formula of coming from quantization of charge. Number electron transferred per second are 10 to the power 9 multiplied by elementary charge. And elementary charge is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. And its value is 1.6, 10 power opposite minus 19 plus 9, that is minus 10 coulomb. So, itna charge mil raha hai per second. Means time taken to transfer this coulomb charge is one second. So, by applying unity method, you can solve the total time. This coulomb charge transferred in one second. Then one coulomb charge will transfer in one divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb. And by solving it, you can get its answer. 10 by 19, we will shift it. 1.6, dash volume, so it will be 10 upon 16. Sorry, here is there 10 minus 10, sorry. Then positive 10 will be here into 10 per 10. This is the same as 0 transfer. Kar denge. Under into 10 to 9 divided by 16. And on solving, you will get its answer 6.25 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 second. So, it's not time lag. I'm going to charge the call. Karne. So, this was the solution of this question. So this all was there in this video and my next video will be based on Coulomb's law and its related numerical problems. So if you have this video, you can write in the comment section. And if you like this video, please like it. And if you have any need for your friends, please share it. And keep watching my channel. Peace and class. Thank you.